Hey there, welcome to a video discussing uh, the solutions for the AP Calculus AV exam for 2022. Uh, as always, this is very exciting to take a look at what questions College Board releases as part of the official pre response portion of the AP exam. So um, we'll start with number one. And I will do my best to um, break these up uh, question by question because I know it could be a, a lot to watch a whole video of the whole solution. So this is uh, obviously just number one. And number one is a calculator allowed question, actually calculator required question. So you can see that they give you uh, a formula for the number of people, arrive, the rate of number of people arriving at a toll plaza. You can think it's like maybe the San Francisco Bay Bridge or San Mateo Bridge or Dumbarton Bridge, but there's a formula. It's just um, so some of a sinusoidal formula. T is the number of hours after 5 a.m. And of course, A of T is a measure of vehicles per hour. So it is a rate. Okay, so it's a rate. So we're most likely going to have to do an integral to find the number of cars that are showing up at the, at the toll plaza. And um, the assumption is that there are no vehicles waiting in line. So the initial condition is zero for A of T at 5 a.m. So part A is asking to write the value of an integral expression that gives the total number of vehicles that arrive at a toll plaza from 6 a.m., which is T equals 1. So we're considering T to be the number of hours after 5 a.m. And 10 a.m., which is five hours after 5 a.m. So part A should be pretty straightforward. Um, all you're going to do is just say that this, the integral from 1 to 5. That's a not a great looking 5. And then the expression 450 times root sine point 6t. 6.2t, sorry. And don't forget about the dt at the end. So that's part A. I gather this is probably worth one point. They haven't released the scoring guidelines yet. I say they I mean the college board. Um, maybe two points for the limits and then one point for the expression, but I'd be shocked if there's more than two points. Then part B, I'll just do it right below. Very, very similar to part A. They're asking for the average value of the rate. Okay, so remember average value is... Um, it's not an average rate of change, it's average value of the function itself, the, uh, the rate function. So you're just gonna do one over five minus one, and then times the integral. So that's how you find average value. And the average value of the rate. So don't overthink it. So the, fun, the function itself is a rate, you want the average value of it. So you always multiply by one over B minus A. That's it. So I got that's probably just one point because you're taking from, well, you have a part A and incorporate that one over five minus one. So that's part B. So A and B, boom, 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 get done fast, right? Uh, part C requires you to think a little harder. For part C, is rate which vehicles are at a total plaza at 6 a.m. increasing or decreasing? So really, so they're asking if, if the rate is increasing, not if uh, the rate's positive or negative, but if the rate is increasing. So what it's really asking for is A prime. Kind of like, um, I want to say a second derivative, because I mean, if the number of cars were your original function, then of course, A of T is the derivative of the number of cars. And then this question is asking for the second derivative, but we already have the rates. So you're just doing the derivative of the rates. Um, so that's where you're just going to have to go to your calculator. You can go to Y1 and type in the function, which is 450, I'm having a struggle here writing fives, 450 times root sine 0.62T. So we need to put that into our calculator. And uh, fortunately I have uh, the Wabbit app. So we um, type that in 450 times sine points. Um, oops, forgot the radical, so let's redo. 450 then second x squared sine 0.62. Of course, just use x. And then let's go ahead and quit the main uh, menu. And then mode, make sure you're in rating mode. That'd be bad if you're not. And then hit alpha window. You're going to select option three. Uh, obviously, do respect to X. Alpha trace is what you call apply one. And you're going to evaluate this at one. And the calculator will say 148.94. Clearly, that's a positive value. So your derivative at one, you want to show that as 148.94. Seven, do three decimal places, please. And that's gonna be um, cars per hour squared. I think you'd have to put the units, cars per hour squared. And clear that's positive, so it's increasing. And you, your reasoning would be because A prime is positive. So there you go. So rate of vehicles are um, 
the arriving at toll plaza is, is, is going coming at a higher rate. If you think of it like at the Bay Bridge, um, when more people are trying to get to work around maybe 7, 8 a.m., you see even more and more cars piling up and traffic getting worse, right? So that's what's happening at that time. I mean, uh, we would gather it would happen anyway at 6 a.m., but we need the math to prove it. And the D was a kind of a funky one. Um, you know, usually that's going to be the case for the last part of each of these problems. They're going to be a little, little odd. So here they give you a new function, number of vehicles um, from a, um, t equals a to t equals four. We don't know what a is, but apparently um, that's when a line begins to form. So it's when the traffic gets really, really bad. Um, you, you really start seeing more of a, a pile up at that time, uh, probably around maybe at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, I don't know. Uh, or actually since we're doing this after um, 5 a.m., maybe, um, yeah, maybe around eight o'clock. Who, who knows, we'll, 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 let's see what happens here. So A is the time when the line begins to form and it's A of X minus 400, okay. So that's when um, A of T, the rate of cars is greater than 400. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure, if you have a lot of cars coming, um, you'll probably have a line, right? Because the toll plaza can't handle and the lanes can't handle all that flow. So nearest whole number, find the greatest number of vehicles in line at the toll plaza in that interval, justify your answer. So first off, what we need to do is we need to figure out A is. So, if you let t equal a, then n of um, n of a obviously will be zero. So that means that you need a of x equal four hundred. So if this is going to be zero, then you're going to need that. So that's how you would solve for A. I know it's a little tricky, but that's how you actually solve for A because you want to see when this first happens, right? This first happens at T equals A, when the line first begins to form. It begins to form at A of X equals 400. So hopefully that intuitively makes sense. Mathematically, if the upper limit and lower limit are the same, your integral is zero. Of course, if A of X is 400, the integral is zero. So you can hopefully see that connection there. That's what you'd have to do. Um, and just trust me, I mean, you would have to um, go to your calculator and um, graph 400 and see where they intersect. And then obviously, obviously change the window. Um, actually, I'll just do it really quick. It's not that hard. Uh, you put 400 right here. Let's go to window. Um, obviously we don't care for negative X values. We'll go from zero to four. And um, yeah, you want to see where they intersect. So obviously we're graphing 400. So let's go from zero to 500, let's say. And we'll make the scale 100. And uh, let's graph it. There is the first one. The y equals 400 will arrive in just a little bit. Okay. So you want to know when it um, first happens. So there are actually um, two answers we get, but we need when it first happens. So we don't care about the second point of your intersection. One, two, three. So you get one point. Um, Four, six. That's when it first happens. So then what you do is, um, so now you know what A is, 1.469, whatever. And we'll need to store that. So let's quit, hit X. You can see it's stored there. So I'll store that as alpha A. Okay, then because we want the greatest number, this is going to be an EBT situation. We know our function is differentiable because we're able to integrate it. So it's obviously continuous. So EVT will apply. And we would make a table. So here's T. And I'll call um, the yeah, NFT number of vehicles. There we go. So definitely we're going to do this at um, our endpoints 1.469 and 4. And we do need a critical point as well. That's the other thing that we're missing here. We do need a critical point. So let's go ahead and find that. Um, to do that, you will need um, to set the derivative equal to zero. So basically you need n prime of t and n prime of t is simply just going to be um, Hold on one second here. Oh, actually, we just um, did that. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, 
yes, we just did that, obviously, because <laughs> N of T, N prime of T, sorry about that little um, brain freeze there. So N prime of T is, because you're doing the derivative of the integral, they're just gonna just go away. So you're gonna get this anyway. So um, yeah, we just did that. So what this means is that uh, we're also gonna consider the other point of intersection, which I should have done. So yeah, the second point of intersection did matter. The first one was good, that's A, because that's the first line forms. But you also wanna see where else it's gonna happen <clears throat> uh, because that is going to be a critical point. Because it's gonna make N prime of T and then, you know, that's when we have um, extreme values at uh, one derivative equals zero, where we're trying to evaluate. Okay, 3.598, okay, there we go. Now, the number of cars here is definitely gonna be zero at, the, at that time, because at the lower limit's gonna be same, because my integral now looks like this, 1.469, and of course, um, <clears throat> that's T, and I have A of X minus 400. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, integrate this at four and 3.598. So it's really simple to go alpha window, integral. Uh, we're gonna use alpha A for our lower, we're gonna do four for our upper, and we're gonna do Y1 minus 400. And of course, DX. So I get about 62.5. Three, three, eight cars. And then I'm gonna do this again with 3.598 uh, is my upper limit. That's why it's important to store stuff so you save time. And I get 7.254. So it's pretty clear that's gonna be the highest number of cars and it's gonna happen at 3.598. The question is asking to round to the nearest whole number so you're gonna say 71 cars. Um, and the justification is already done because you've done EBT and you've done this table. So that's already all implied. So that is number one.